everybody, it's Erin Reed with Erin Reed Makes, and today we are on the next episode of Erin Makes With. We do a little bit of crafting, a little bit of chatting, and have a whole lot of fun. Welcome to the show. So each episode, we bring in a new special guest and or company or creator designer that is wanting to talk about their amazing things that they do. Today, we have Shana from Paper House Productions. Welcome, Shana. Hi. Hi, Erin. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be on your show. Oh, thanks so much for joining me. I am absolutely thrilled that you said yes to come on the show. You and I have known each other a such a, we were just having this conversation off screen. So I'm going to switch my camera because I think I was a little too squishy. So I have worked on and off with Paper House Productions. I have been on their design teams in the past, doing lots of scrapbook layouts. I've had some projects go into their booth. That was at Creativation. That was my first like jump into Creativation many, many years ago. And I was like pawing through all of the social media to see if I could gl get a glimpse of my projects on the showroom floor back before I started going. Like I was that total nerd. Like, And then you guys were so amazing about taking pictures and posting it for us to see. I was so excited to see my stuff there. It was just like, that was a huge milestone. I also have to give 100% credit to Paper House Productions for giving me the nudge through the, through the window of videoing. So one year for our design team, they said, we'd love you to do some sort of video. It doesn't have to be long, just somewhere in your term, because we always did blog posts and we sent pictures. And I think this was even before Instagram was a thing. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Way back for, <laughs> we were just talking about how old, it, how long it's been. But she said, yeah, we would love you to do a video. And I had started my YouTube channel, but I didn't put anything on it. It was one of those things that was kind of sitting in the back of my mind. And it just like, it sat there just doing nothing. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a video. So my very, very first video I ever made was using Paper House Productions projects. <laughs> they first. <laughs> so you guys gave me the nudge out the door and then- and it, like, Well, and it was great. And then look look at you now. I mean, you're like one of my video idols because we're just Aww. getting into the live stream thing and you have it figured out. So we're thrilled to be here and learning from you on this show. Thank you. I like I always tell everybody if you're ever considering to doing like sometimes you need that gentle nudge for somebody going, we'd love you to do this. Can you try this out? Even though you've been thinking about it. So I truly appreciate that nice little, hey, you can do it. We'd love to see you try. It was probably the worst video I've ever made in my life. Oh, no. Hands down probably <laughs> was. I, I didn't talk. There was no intro to anything. It was purely just sped up. It was just a portion of the project. It wasn't even the entire project. If you ever go back and look at the very, very first video that I did, you'll understand. <laughs> oh, well, sometimes you just need that little nudge to get out of your comfort zone too. And I was petrified to do that. And then, yeah, now I'm all like, let's go live and let's talk about whatever and let me have guests. And, you know, it's, it's know. we can't it's stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> not gonna happen. But I love that you guys are starting to do lives now. So you guys are going live every Thursday at 930 Eastern. And what do you guys talk about in your lives? What's going oh, on there? Well, everything. So um, we really we decided as a company that especially after quarantine and we've all been stuck at home, you know, that we wanted to connect better with with our audience, with our customers. So we started Paper House at home. Um, so oftentimes it's me or Amy or one of the girls at Paper House and we start the live at 9.30. Sometimes we'll just talk about a different product, a different category. Sometimes we'll craft or do a plan with me or a, a live crafting session. And just recently, last night was our first one, we've been bringing on guest stars. So we had a guest star from our creative team last night, Jenny, who was awesome. Thank you, Jenny, if you're watching. And um, next week, we've got Amber coming on. She's also a member of our creative team. So we're really trying to line up lots of fun, um, interesting ways of crafting so that you can see how versatile our products are and just have fun with us and get to know us a little better. Yeah. So what is your role in Paper House? Like, I've known you for oh years because, <laughs> and I, I have to, I, I meant to show this, but I just have to show her. So this is one of the, not the first project, but one of the first projects I did. And just to show you how long, so this is some of their really, really cute papers and papers. I went all grungy with it. But this little girl right here, she'll be nine in August. This little boy right here, he's a freshman in high school. And this little guy right here, we're actually going to be, here he is now. Look at the difference. Oh. <laughs> So this is how long I've been with Paper House and loved them and their products are amazing. But what is your role? Because you have many hats and you are 
absolutely amazing. Like I am just blown away by the stuff that you do for this company. Oh, thank you. Um, So many roles. So my primary role, my job title is a senior designer for Paper House. Um, Basically, I started with Paper House over 15 years ago, which is crazy. Um, (laughs) But that's everybody at our company (laughs) has like this huge longevity too, because we love what we do and we love where we work and the people we work with. So every almost everyone has like at least five years, if not 25 years of paper house experience. So I've been here 15 years. I am the senior designer. So I um, am lucky enough to design product all day, um, which thrills me to like my heart and soul. I love it. Um, I get to design stickers, design papers, design planners and journals, um, some really cool new stationary goods we've got coming out, which we're really excited for. Um, But really, I in addition to designing, I do live, I help with marketing, I work on product sourcing. So working with our manufacturers to make sure our product quality is top notch. Um, what else do I do? I do sales presentations. <laughs> I do, um, you know, pretty much like they can't keep me out of things. I want to be involved in everything. And uh, I'm lucky enough to have a company that supports that and um, doesn't mind me popping in to here or there. Sometimes I'll even pop into the warehouse if they let me and try to <laughs> ship something out. <laughs> so. Well, I, you seem to have your fingers like in everything that they would ha- be a loss without you. So I absolutely love that. And you guys are based out of New York, right? We are. We're in upstate yeah. New York. So not New York City. We're about two hours just north of New York City in the Hudson Valley. Um, it's gorgeous. Where we live, we have mountains. The weather, you know, in the winter is not the best, <laughs> but um, it's, it's just beautiful here. And the Hudson Valley is known to be um, kind of this hot spot for artists too, which is really cool. We're right outside of Woodstock, New York. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's a really cool area and we still get yeah. to get down to the city when we want to. Yeah. It's only like about a two hour drive or so, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. a train ride is really easy to take the train right down. Ah, oh, that's nice. I remember we were up there for uh, a conference up there, the making. Um, yeah. And so I got to hang out in that area and you guys were there and you had yeah. a nice dinner for everybody. It was it was very, very fun. Oh, and so yeah. I got to meet you guys kind of in your own space at the time. It was very <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, and it is, I, I was so excited because I was driving through. I'm like, I'm going through the cat skills. I know. Like, I'm in that kind of area. I'm like, I'm in dirty dancing world. <laughs> <I was so laughs> it is. Yeah. The resorts <laughs> used to boom here. Um, you know, it's, a, it's a very cool area to live. I think the funniest part was, is I had mentioned it to one of the other ladies who was there. She was about a decade younger than me. And she's like, what's Dirty Dancing? I've never seen it. And I was just, oh, no, oh no, you've never seen that. And here I am, like, I want to go. <laughs> well, especially being around there, yeah. <laughs> well, we were all visiting, so she yeah. she's not from there or anything, but it was just one of those really like kind of like, how have you not heard of this movie? How have you not watched right. this movie? But you know, I'm an 80s baby, so there we go. <laughs> Even I grew up as a child. One, and I don't see a lot of movies. <laughs> That's just like a classic. I think so. And so I was just so excited to be up in that area. But you like live in that area. That's where the company is based out of, which I think is so cool. Yeah. So you talk about how you design lots of products. You have lots of things. So I'm going to open up the screen. How much behind me did you create? Oh, my God. Uh, If I am counting, (laughs) probably like eh, 90%, 80% of what's there. Um, It's so cool. I mean, I have to say 3D stickers are... We, we did a live recently and we all talked about, it was a few of us at Paper House and we talked about what our favorite product is. And for me, it's 3D stickers. They're like in my bones and my blood and I love to design them. I love to use them um, because the coolest part is with 3D stickers, it's not just like a flat design. You actually, in addition to the graphic design of it, you design the layering, the embellishment. Mm-hmm what gets glitter, what gets foil, what gets popped up or pushed down. So it's kind of like this multi-dimensional design exercise every time I make one that is really, it's fun. It's really fun to make. So it's, yeah, like all the different layers go with it. I mean, I mean, just, I'm going to switch the screens so you guys can see. So this is one of the new ones they have. Ah, you know, it might be better if I put up one of the graphics because this one's really hitting a lot of light. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Let's switch to a graphic here. All right, so these are the three stickers that we're going to be talking about, the three collections we're talking about. You can't see the 3D part of it very well. Maybe if I take it out of the package. But, like, 
you, they look flat, but they're really super, super, super dimensional. Maybe this will help. You, um, I don't know if you can switch to one of the photos I sent, Erin, but um, those yeah, show oh, the dimensionals really nicely. You can really oh, there see. You there it is. Like, look at that. So you've got all these different layers. Like this one's got three layers to it. This yep. one's got a couple. I mean, there's just, they're just so cool because they just add this dimension. This one's got like an enamel covering on the top. So does this one. Yeah. There's and glittery, the, there's foil. The rhinestones Ooh. and like the extra elements. So the, the tassel, cool tassel on that hat, isn't it cute? It's very cool. I love that. It's just like, there's just so many different things. And that's just one sticker set that is mm -hmm. from here. So there, there is a ton of different stickers, but I just love that you guys have all these collections. I always think of if I want to have a um, a layout, a card, or something that is very thematic, like if I'm talking about if I took a trip to Italy, or if I went to Germany, or if I went to, you know, wherever, if I want something about soccer, if I want something about a sport, if I want something about graduation mm -hmm. or a parent, like if I want a good theme, Paper House is my go-to because they have all those little niche themes with papers, and you also have stickers and you have, I mean, washi tape. Yep. And is so many types of stickers too. In addition to the 3D, we have puffy stickers. We have flat Ew. stickers. I know the clips. <laughs> so it's cute. so cute. I love that. Um, but yeah, it's funny that you touched on travel and sports too, because those, um, when we first got into scrapbooking uh, 15 years ago, <laughs> um, those were kind of our, our niches of, we want to, we said, we want to be the best in travel. And especially coming from our... <laughs> um coming from our background <laughs> was that an airplane yeah an airplane went by i'm like i wonder like you went oh right is the i'm like i wonder if something happened on her end or if she's here in the airplane <laughs> we have like a small airport about four miles from here so okay. sometimes they really fly low like the little cessna <laughs> planes over our house trying to land so oh. sorry about that <laughs> um that's We're the live. beauty of life right <laughs> Um, but yeah, so uh, with with travel and coming from our background of being a very heavily photographic company to start, I mean, we've been around for 35 years and our very first products were photographs and we kind of brought that through. Um, we had pet photography, we had uh, all kinds of just really beautiful, iconic photography. <clears throat> so when we got into scrapbooking, we wanted to bring that photography especially into travel, because we felt like it really lend, lent an authentic perspective for anywhere you went. And 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that wasn't out there on the market, um, that really photographic, true to life, realistic style for scrapbooking. So that's kind of how we got into it. And then, um, as you can see from some of the collections we'll be using today, um, we still do incorporate photography, but we've layered it on with a lot of additional like illustration and typography and other design elements. So it's still there as part of our core. And depending on the theme, we use it really heavily if we're doing some cool stuff with animals or sports and then sometimes we play it down if it's a theme like baby or um, you know mom or dad where you can't really show a photograph of a baby necessarily because it's not yours right. so we bring in some elements um, where it makes sense yeah, yeah I mean it seems every time I turn around you have a new collection you've fun new things and you're bringing in new kinds of textures and stuff so like this is like rice paper that's like washi tape I just think yeah. that's so cool and like the puffy stickers so this lends to our question which is the question we have for our giveaway so paper house productions is doing an amazing giveaway we have a giveaway that is for our live and we also have a giveaway that is for the replay so for any reason you didn't get a chance to win on the live or you're watching us on the replay still leave a comment you can leave a comment on YouTube and on Facebook and we're also streaming on Paper House Productions Facebook as well. So leave a comment if you're watching the replay, leave a comment on all three sections because you have a higher chance to win. So the question for today, here we go, is what's one thing missing from your stash that you wish you could have? Hmm. So what's a thing that you would want? So I, I was posing this question to Shana earlier and she's like, oh, I got to think about that. <laughs> And I, I was know. thinking like, oh, crap, I have to think about that, too. And this, <laughs> now, I know. this is the weirdest one. I think, I, well, do you want to go first? Do you want me to say oh, one? No, you go first. All right. So this is where I was at. I know it exists, but I personally don't have it. 
for some reason I don't seem to have it, is we were talking about washi tape. I tend to use washi tape either as functional or I tend to use it as a like a decorative piece. I have a very hard time with all the super like fancy because the colors don't mm -hmm. match perfectly. And I love like the solid colors, but I have a hard time finding a good gold, like a solid mm -hmm. gold, or maybe it has a shimmery, but I also would want to have like different shades of gold because there's so many differences. Is it like yeah. a true shiny gold or is it a very kind of a muted gold or is it more of like a brassy gold? You know, is it more of antique gold? So I think like having like a range of those and also in the silvers, like the gunite mm -hmm. and a silver and like a sterling, like just kind of the ranges of those metallics, I think is what I feel like I'm missing. And I would love to have it as like a set that I could get mm -hmm. because then I'm just like, ooh, it's the metallic set. And they're not, they're like true washi, washi tape, you know? Mm -hmm. That's, yep. That would be my go-to is what I would want. Well, already you said that and I'm thinking through some of my um, <laughs> some of my swatch books and I'm like, ooh, I could see a set of like 10 different goals. Yep, you'd have like the yellowy and the rose gold, you know, you right. could, I, yeah. I can do this. I can do this for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was telling you, Erin, earlier that, um, you know, it's hard working in the creative, in the crafting industry because I feel like I have all the stuff. For me, it's a matter of it, like finding it not in the world, but finding it literally in my studio here. Because uh, so I think for me, it's probably like a better organizational system um, mm. that actually works for me. And I I can't even define that. It's a unicorn right now. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, as far as a product type or a, a theme type, um, I'm gonna have to think on it a little more. So we already have a few different things. So here's one, um, figure skating stickers. Cannot Ooh. find figure skating stickers. Ooh, that's a good That's theme. kind of cool. That's a good so We have ice hockey, but not figure skating. So that's so a there good you suggestion. Go. Yeah. Washi tape, but wide. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Shiny papers. Ooh. I know you guys have some foilish mm -hmm. kind of products. Yeah. And I know you've done some papers. I'm going to snag another one that I have right over here. So uh, this was another layout in Once Upon a Time. And you've done oh. papers that have like a foil Lots thing foil. to them. Yeah. Yeah. Tells you how old my kids are there. Again, he's oh. a, wait, wait, wait. This, uh, I, there we go. This one, <laughs> freshman high school. <laughs> he's not young anymore. He doesn't have the baby face. He's got a mustache. He talks about shaving. I'm like, oh. No. <laughs> But rice papers, I'm seeing a lot of people saying rice papers. That's a big mm -hmm. one that people yeah. are talking about. That is very cool. So uh, scan and cut, that's another big one people are mentioning, scan and cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of good ones. I love all these. Keep them up. What are you missing in your stuff? What are you wanting? Stickles. Oh, stickles for new projects. You have to have like the whole rainbow, though. Unless you just go with the metallics. The metallics are my go-to because <laughs> they go with everything. They all really right. do, yeah. They do. They go with everything. So if you've not had a chance to answer the question, what's one thing missing from your stash that you wish you could have or that you could find, leave a comment below. You have a chance to win. And here's the amazing part, a $50 gift certificate to Paper House Productions. That means you can get whatever you want in the entire store, anything you want, including the sale items. And on top of that, you can add this to the 20% off coupon that we have, which is Aaron makes 20. It's valid at the end of June. It's 20% off your entire order. You can't beat that. Nope. So, I mean, we've talked about stickers, we've talked about the papers, but you guys also have, and I have this off to the side, planners. Oh, yes. <laughs> and all of the stickers and all of the, what I call the accoutrement that go yep. with planners. And you guys have planners of all different types oh, and sizes yeah. and dated, undated. I mean, it's like, that's a whole other division to what you yes. guys have. It's crazy. Yes. And that's, it's funny. That's our life organized uh, division. Um, because literally I need to get my life organized. <laughs> oh, look, I actually have uh, one of our new ones here. This is our Stargazer Ooh. planner. And this one um, we had as an 18 month planner and the design was so popular that we just brought it out as a 12 month planner. Um, nice. So this is like a full size laminate. We also have um, just journals, like soft cover journals. Oh, and let me just mention the licenses too, um, because I know you like our Harry Potter license, um, but we are officially licensed with a lot of properties. So we have Wonder Woman, we have all of DC Comics, we've got Superman and Batman, and I'm not a comic person, so forgive me. 
Um, we have Scooby Doo. Uh, we have a Marvin the Martian journal. So some really fun like Looney Tunes. Um, Harry Potter has been by far our like hot, hot license. I just finished all the books with my son and oh. I think we need to make a trip to Wizarding World now too. But um, so got, this is one of the ones I did with one of your licenses. Oh, you yes, have with the wild, with things, wild things. Yes. So I love that one too. That was so an awesome definitely. one. I love that you have those licenses. They're so cool. Yes. Really fun. I, I, is there any that you're, you probably can't tell me that. I, I always try and get the dirt like, is there any licenses <laughs> that you're like working on trying to get, like you're trying to get there. But I mean, I think the Wonder Woman one is awesome. You guys have some mm -hmm. amazing planners with that. Yeah. Obviously Harry Potter. I mean, that is fabulous. Yeah. Um, and, but all the DC comics are fantastic too. So yeah. I'm just waiting to see. And then you said, you said Scooby-Doo too, right? We do. Yeah, we have Scooby-Doo. We're actually cool. going to have some Scooby-Doo puzzles out this summer. Um, <sighs> so, right. In addition to like all the scrapbooking stuff, all the planning stuff, we have um, kids products under our Playhouse line. And then we also have puzzles, which have been super popular due to quarantine and COVID kind of, <laughs> we've seen this resurgence in puzzling because it's a great activity that you can do at home with your family. So mm -hmm. we have some new puzzles coming out soon that I'm really excited for. Um, I'm, I want to be a puzzler. I'm just not very good at puzzling. <laughs> My oldest loves it. And the ones that he likes the best are those 3D puzzles that oh, make like cool. a thing yeah. out of it. Yeah. And with you guys and with like the 3D stickers, I'm like, I bet you guys could figure out how to make like a 3D we Wonder might, Woman, you know? We might have to check <laughs> that out. <laughs> You're gonna have to. <laughs> I mean, they're really cool. I mean, he just loves puzzles in general. That's one of his favorite Aww. things. So he always has some sort of puzzle or little kind of memory thingy kind of version, like something to get him thinking about it. Yeah. That's my oldest one. He loves cool. those kinds of things. So you guys have some new collections. That's what I have behind me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start. Where do you want to start? You want to start with grad, dad, or mom? Um, <laughs> well, let's touch on mom, but I don't want to spend too much time on mom since Mother's Day has just passed. But you might have some great pictures from Mother's Day if you're like me and my son who take a picture every year in front of the same tree so we can see how he grows through the years. Um, you can definitely use those papers to scrapbook Mother's Day memories or anything for mom because, you know, we should celebrate mom all year long, not just on Mother's are. Day. And then they're um, double sided. So you can really see are. all the cool graphics on that. My daughter was like, this is the prettiest paper ever. This one's so gorgeous. I love I it. And I'm like, flip that. it over because it's got even she's like, oh, that's so pretty. Like she was going bananas <laughs> for this one. Sorry, my little oh. clippy fell to the ground. Oh, <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and then I you know. have a sticker line that goes with yep. that too, the 3D stickers. Exactly. And I, I wonder who made that. <laughs> um, I love to, in the new papers, you're going to show um, the tags on with each of the collections because since they're double sided, um, when you get the two papers that coordinate, you actually get four. And one of those with the tags, you can cut up and use for so many things. Like we were talking about, they're almost like Project Life, like journaling cards, mm -hmm. but I'm going to use them on some cards cards that we're going to craft with. I think you might too. I don't want to give too much away, um, but they're so versatile because you can use them for card making sentiments. You can use them for a title on your scrapbook page, on your layout. Um, so I love the little tags that you can cut so all the This is up. the new graduation papers that you have. So this is the tags we're talking about right here where we see, you know, congratulations, so proud of you, yay. But on the other side, it's the cap and gown, which I yep. love. So you get a little bit of, you can play with it as a background page, or you can cut them up and use them as like what we're probably going to do, which is that. And then you have also a coordinating paper where I love it. It's the stars. And then the other yeah. side is that stripes, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. It's yeah. so pretty. Well, and I love that one especially too, because it's not specifically graduation. It coordinates perfectly with the tag page so you can use it um, mm -hmm. in that collection. But you really, who doesn't need stars and stripes in like neutral, yeah. a neutral silver and gold? You can use for anything. I call those my really good neutral papers yes. that are perfect for like even on backgrounds for cards and stuff, mm -hmm. because it's just, they're so neutral. They're great for mats, but they also like, they work, they're like almost... They're my second to just solid cardstock yep. because they're almost a solid, if that yep. makes sense. And I think maybe that's my answer to my question. That's the one thing I need more of is those like basics, like the everyday basics that you can mix and match and that you can just have in your stash and use for anything. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. that's what I need. I want a whole rainbow of those. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is the dad collection. I love the background on the back of the tags that mm -hmm. just soft plaid yeah. in the gray. It's so pretty. Yeah. And then the wood paper, my son was like, Oh, I love that wood paper. It was funny. My daughter grad, you know, gravitated <laughs> towards the girly papers and my son grad gravitated towards like the wood paper. And he's like, the star in the background is really cool too. Like, it's just so cool. I so, love that your kids like your scrapbooking papers. I think that's awesome. <laughs> They went nuts for it. They loved it. <laughs> but like the little coffee cup with like the number one dad and like all the little dad and like the tiles. I mean, they're so cute. You did such an amazing job. Did you design both of these as well? I did. Yes. See, that's just awesome. Oh, to get inside your brain and your designing is just fabulous. So we have a couple of examples. So here is an example of one of the projects from Success Grant. Like this is a card from one of your, you call it your inspiration team, right? Our creative team. Creative team, sorry, yep. sorry. Yep. <laughs> um, and then here's another example of a card here for that. And then here is some of the other stickers. We're actually gonna be playing with one of these sets. I'm gonna be creating a small little portfolio um, with my son's picture here. And it's this kind of three-dimensional easel that we were chatting about. So I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. It's super fast, super easy. I'm just using a four by six photo that I just printed off. Literally, I took this picture before we went live. So this is what he's wearing today. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you get. <laughs> there you go. So do you want to go ahead and flip your camera and your sound around and we yes. can start creating? Or do we want to talk anything? Did I miss anything on the collections oh, here? No, I think you covered them really nicely. Um, and I think showing, you know, you can see the photos of the collections there behind you, like the actual <laughs> product. But I think it was great to pull up the graphic, too, so we can see the details there. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah. If you all don't right. mind, give me a minute. I have to get a cat off my desk <laughs> because that's also the beauty of live. And so, um, I'll go ahead. Is and that watching it. on your yeah. desk? Um, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> we have she three one of the cats, brown tabby cats, and they all look the same. They look identical. <laughs> How do you tell the difference? Um, you know, it's subtle, but we uh, we can tell. <laughs> and he, he's just lounging now. He's, he's just like, like, okay, this is my space. Just chilling. I'm just hanging out. Exactly. All good. We're gonna have to <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let her flip the camera around. And just really quickly, we're going to go through again and talk about the things that you need to have, that you can get. All the fun stuff that Paper House is giving us. Let me pull up the banners again. So if you would like to have a 20% off discount off your entire order for Paper House Productions. Links are down below to go to Paper House, also for their Facebook, their YouTube, and also their Instagram. So you can go to any of their sites. Also my sites, if you're watching me from Paper House, all of my sites are there. There's a 20% off coupon valid to the end of June. And if you have not had a chance to answer the question about what is the one thing missing from your stash that you wish you could have? Mine was a variety of colors of metallic washi tape. And Shana's was organization. She had a second one, which was also good, simple patterned papers that are kind of like multifunctional. I think I, I love that one too. And if you are not able to win live for whatever reason, I didn't pick your name, I didn't choose you randomly, you can still win. They are gonna be announcing the winner live on their Paper House Productions on their YouTube and Facebook. They're live at 9 p.m., 9.30 Eastern time, sorry. On May 27th, they are going to announce their winner there. All right, I believe she is functional and ready to go. Yeah. And I moved the cat, can you hear me? That's the next question. <laughs> Feline, you just stroke the kitty, it's all nice. Cats are fun to play with. No so you are gonna work with the dad collection. So let's make your screen a tiny bit bigger. Here we go, flip it up. So you've got the dad collection there, I love that. I do, and so here's the full paper, but before we started, I did take a minute just to trim down all the tags. Um, because I was telling you earlier, my paper trimming game was like totally off today and I didn't want to embarrass myself on camera. So I trimmed everything down and I thought I would just make a few, a couple of fun cards um, while we go. Um, yeah. So what I especially love too about um, these tag papers is with the pattern backs. Ooh, sorry. I'm terrible. I read the comments as I go. Um, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with reading comments. That's totally know, cool. I'm so easily distracted. Uh, Deborah wants coffee washi tape, and I just want coffee, actually. <laughs> Um, but coffee washi tape could be really cool too. We do have some wine washi tape in our line, which I was telling Erin earlier has this beautiful gold metallic um, secondary tape. Like in all our washies come in two pack sets. So there's a 
wide washi and a thin washi. And the wine one is one of my favorites because I love the pattern on the wine tape itself, but the gold that we have that coordinates with it is just gorgeous. I love that. So I'm going to be working with the graduation paper. So here is the tags kind of up close and personal. So here you can see them. They're really, really cute. So you're creating a card, right? I am. Yeah. Cause you know, Father's Day is coming up. Um, I think it's sometime in June and I really should figure this out. Uh, so I don't miss it on my husband. Sorry, husband, if you're watching. Um, but <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm like well ahead and I know right now we're still in May. So if I make a Father's Day card now, I should be good. Yeah. So I am making a card and this is just using some of those. Hey, I gotta find my center. I'm, I'm off. My, my camera from one side to the other is not lined up with the other side. So I'm just using some of those cut apart little pieces here. What, what do you guys call them? Tags? Yeah. I like to call them tags. We call them like our tag papers. Hmm. So I, I always call them like the project life because I think that's where I saw them first. I don't know. What yeah. do you guys all call them? I guess, like everybody has a different way. Cut apart pieces, tags, project life papers. I mean, what does everybody else call them? I'm not sure. I was I was curious about how everybody else describes them. So we're going to make one version of this. And the best part of this little card, it looks very plain, but on the inside, you actually have a little slot to put a gift card. Because usually when you're getting somebody who is a graduation, you got to give them a little present. So this is kind of like a two-in-one deal. So you can give them a little gift card to wherever their favorite place is, Amazon, Target, a restaurant, you name it, wherever you would like to give them to. I think Barnes & Noble used to be a big deal, but it's not so much anymore. I don't know. <laughs> so I am going to make this a card again um, at a future date. And, but I just did really easy to show you. I have cut a sheet of paper to be five and a half inches tall. Oh, there's the kitty. There's the cat. <laughs> Making the appearance again. And then we have 10 and a half inches in width. And then all I'm going to do here, I'm going to open this up a little bit bigger so you guys can see where I'm scoring. Just real fast. We're going to do our first score mark at four and a quarter. So that's the width of our paper. So that's our first score. And then I'm going to flip it over. And on the other end, I'm going to score at the two inch mark because that's where we're going to do our little fold over to make our pocket. So this is your traditional card right here at that space. And then this is your little flap that we're going to fold in that we're going to put our gift card in. So really, really simple. And Easy Aaron, when you told me you were making a gift card holder and then you showed me the little flap, I thought that is so adorable. And I need to make more cards like that. Like definitely. That's cool. It, it, and they're so fast and easy. That's the other thing about it. Like this one is really not complicated at all. I've done, I've, I've seen to be like on a gift card kick because they're just fun to make. And this is the time of year when everybody is doing gift cards because it's like the end of year, it's graduation. Your kids are getting, you know, like what all the different things that you need gift cards for. So well, I'm like, sure we're going to make a ton. Don't mind at all. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope, no, nope, they're pretty okay with it. So I've got apart a whole bunch of the, okay, so people are calling them journal tags, cut apart, and I, I screw this name up every time. So Crystal, please correct me if I'm wrong, or maybe you guys can help me say this. Ephemera, that's not right. Ephemera. Ephemera, <laughs> Ephemera. <laughs> every time. I can't get it right in my head. It's just like, it's like a block or something. Oh, so I just go like, cut out papers. I call it Ephemera now. <laughs> I'm goofy. So I just cut them all apart. On the back side, it's the really pretty graduation caps. And I think I'm going to use this as the front of my card. And then I just pulled out a gray paper that went along with it, the little stars. But I could use the gray here, but I thought I'd have change it up. So what are you doing? So I'm just going to glue this all together. I'm going to show everybody what you guys, what you're up to right now. So you're layering all kinds of cool stuff there. So another thing I love about the tag papers is you can really get down into cutting different pieces of the tag to use for just color accents. So like here on this, um, this one tag, I decided I just wanted to use this like little brown stripe and I was going to layer it up as a little flag here on the side. Um, I also used this I love you piece and then I was cutting apart this red piece down here because I think I'm going to use the stars for a different card, but I want some of these stripes just to bring up that red. So I always like to work in thirds too, um, to try to make my colors move from corner to corner. So since I had some red down here, I want to bring some up here and then I'll probably put a sticker up there in that corner to bring in that red some more. Um, I, love but I, that. Do, I love the sentiment on this tag sheet. Like I especially love dad jokes, two stars like that. That just cracked me up. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> because we, we do have a standing joke here at my house and even my son will say like oh dad joke <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, oh man, you're seven. Like you're harsh. <laughs> is... But uh, my husband does make a lot of dad jokes, so that is <laughs> that's where that came from. <laughs> that's the inspiration behind putting that on. So to to make the little pocket, all I did is I added a little bit of adhesive right here and right here, and then I'm going to fold this over. Make sure you don't put anything on the center, and then just stick it down. I did a little bit extra versus just a single line. I kind of doubled it up. Because then it gives you more space. I had another gift card around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. I had a couple of them just to show. These, none of these are like, these are all old. But I, I keep them just for purposes like this as like demo. So you can see that there's a little something there. Oh, and then I kind of thought I would take another one of these little journal tags and just put it on the inside. So create a little interest on the inside. So I'm going to pop this in here. She's on all fancy with hers, all the layers. I love it. And then I am going to take one of the puffy stickers. I love these. So these are these little puffy stickers. They're so cool. Let me put them out of the wrapper so we can see them better. And I'm going to line up little caps and gowns right there, a little diploma, and a little metal right there. Just simple. I mean, you could do a layer of color here there's so many fun things that you can do with this. There is actually a question that somebody has posed um, about washi tape. There's been a couple of questions about that. So first one, where was it? Da, 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 da. Here we go. Oh, does uh, true washi tape have a backing? Do you, I have an answer. Do you have, okay, okay. do you mind? No, go ahead, um, go for it. So let's see, about three years ago, now I think it was three years ago, we as Paper House took a trip to Japan, which is like the original home of washi tape. Um, and oh my gosh, like the amount of washi tape we saw there in their stationery stores. And let me just say like their stationery, that's why we went. Um, we went for two weeks as Paper House to like really just understand the stationery culture of Japan and have that experience of like browsing stationery stores that were hundreds of years old to really modern ones and um, just kind of absorb their design aesthetic and their materials and everything. So anyway, long story short, we saw so <laughs> much washi tape there. Um, and true washi tape, I would say, does not have a backer. I think the ones that you're thinking of with the backing is generally referred to as a paper tape, the cat's back. Um, this is washi, so he hears me. <laughs> saying his name. Maybe You're talking about name. washi tape and you got to have washi. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the ones with um, backings are generally paper tape as opposed to a true washi tape. Oh, so hopefully that answered your question. And then the other one is anybody ever experienced washi tape drying out? I don't think I've ever, I've had washi tape last me years. I, I've I had stuff. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a drying out problem. I don't think so. I think some washi tapes can have um, like a subpar adhesive. And so maybe mm. that's what you're experiencing. If it didn't have a great adhesive to begin with, um, you might experience some less than sticky stickiness uh, as you have it on your shelves. But they really shouldn't dry out just like a masking tape or a, um, you know, like a painter's tape or any kind of adhesive. They really shouldn't dry out on you. Good to know. All right, so I'm gonna explain a little bit about what I have here. So this is this 3D sticker frame that they have and it's already got this little kind of backing piece here. And so it becomes a little frame that you can stand, which I think is so cute. And everything you need except for your picture is in there. Now they had kind of a template for what the picture could look like right here um, with somebody in their cap and gown. So you could have that, but truly my son, this is my son, he is just finishing fifth grade. So we are going to do a little fifth grade graduation. And this is what he was wearing today. So I was like, come outside, let's get a quick picture. He is so photogenic, I absolutely love it. So I'm just trimming this down to fit. I'm kind of using the guide of these little pieces. So these are little sticker overlays right here. So they're kind of see-through. So I'm just kind of seeing like what would be a good space that to fit. So I gotta trim about another inch off that. So you can definitely take a four by six photo and or however you guys, you know, go through and do your pictures if you want to print them however you like. So I'm just kind of playing around with the size here. I think 
I have a winner. Ta-da! <laughs> so we were commenting. I'm like, this is such a cool little sticker frame, but we had talked about doing cards, and it comes as this whole set. So here it is right here. It's really cool. It's got all the little bits and pieces in it. And so I've just pulled one of the sets apart. Two sticker sheets and one easel backer. So this is your background paper. And it even has instructions on the back about how to do this. So it says you place your photo, you put the little piece on top, and then you embellish it. So that's what we're going to do. I'll place my photo. <laughs> so also, Erin, if you have a, um, like a sprocket or like one of those portable photo printers, if you're not using a 4 by 6 photo, but you have like one of the tiny little printers, yes. um, that frame is sized perfectly for a 2 by 3 picture. Ah. You have to print but you totally can take a full size one and trim down too. So I think that, like one of those little photo things. Oh, no, no, no. I got to put this on just right. Oh, that's sticky. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> put it down carefully, everybody, because it's <laughs> sticky. Um, I think that's probably been something on my wish list for a while is a little portable, you know, camera like or like printer like that. I yeah, think that would be super I awesome. I highly recommend the HP Sprocket. I really like it. And it makes it. Gosh, you know, I have one right here on my desk. Uh, it is probably not charged up, but they're so tiny. You can like, throw it in your purse, bring it anywhere. And the paper that comes in, it has the ink like in the paper somehow. So you never have to do ink in the printer at all. It connects really easy to your smartphone and it just spits out a little two by three printer. Uh, oh, that's cool. photo. So I would definitely check them out if you're looking for just quick on the fly um quick prints because it makes it when I don't have to like actually send photos to be printed somewhere I if I can just print on demand whenever I want I will definitely um, add photos to my projects a lot more than if I have yeah. to, you know plan <laughs> that is for darn sure like I, we were just on the fly going yeah I'm gonna go ahead and print this off real fast I'm like okay I need to make sure my printer has ink and like I'm good to go and I'm like of all the stuff that I need to Look, I, I feel like I filled up my little oh my space gosh. right here. I even gave him a little cap in there. Right there. <laughs> I was trying to pull that off, but it, it stuck on there. I was going to ruin it, but the, I realized it was also another little cap yeah. that's like, um, it's a flat one. This is the, well, what do you call these? The ones that are see-through, like transparent? Clear stickers. Yeah. Clear stickers. But look at that. I still have a ton of stickers left over that I haven't even filled all this out with. I mean, I could really like fill it but I'm like nah I don't need to and I love the big one at the bottom it it's, really makes it kind of and pop. so that itself on the back of it it's got the little easel back right yep yeah there you go. so how cute would yeah. that be if you were doing a graduation party or even just like a dinner for your family and like you put that yeah. in the center of the table so that everyone can really celebrate your graduate I love it and look at there he is my oh. little fifth grade graduate oh my God. <laughs> so cute he is adorable. He is really photogenic. I am like super jealous of him. <laughs> <You> got lucky. <laughs> He's always the one that whenever I take photos, he grumbles and moans about every photo that I ever take of him. And then we actually go to taking the photo and it's just like, oh my God, kid, the like you make the best time. pictures <laughs> every time. Like, oh my goodness. So, so I just want to do a quick shout out to everybody who's jumped on. I'm going to switch screens a little bit. So we got, there we go. While she's crafting away crafting. mine were super fast like you saw how fast those little projects went right. they are fast i made two cards well, I, and a little easel frame here i know i just can't stop making cards because that's okay I keep going have paper. fun and yeah so we have tracy on from artful creations we have barbara crystal chris christina deborah jen hello hello here we get so many people Thank you guys so much, Joanne, Nydia, Nydia, I think that's right. Sherry, I'd love to know where you guys are watching us from. We are live here. I'm in Austin, just outside of Austin, and she is in upstate New York. And we would love to know where you guys are watching us from. So let us know. Somebody said the Canon selfie is really good too. Yeah. In terms of can or little printers. I so haven't cool. personally tried that one, um, but I, you know, anything that just makes it easier to get your memories onto paper, I'm all for Yeah. That. Instead of it being stuck in your phone yeah. and you never actually use it. Yeah. That's a I big one. I have that's like 25,000 pictures on my phone. I just keep upgrading my Google account because, or my Apple account. So I have more storage room. I can't delete any of them. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I try to do a good job of like downloading them and then putting them up on screen. So or, or, like on my computer, and like organizing them by file. So by year and then like okay, months so and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. No, Look at that. We got somebody who's not too far from me. Cedar Park. You're not too far from me. Hello. Hello. She's just outside of Austin, too. We got Oshkosh. So hello, Barbara. Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Virginia Beach. We've got Ontario in lockdown. Yeah, Canada. My, my whole family lives in Canada, except for me. I'm the loner. Actually, I have one cousin that lives just outside in uh, Boston. But um, yeah, they, they're like totally in lockdown over there. What's your status in New York? Because you guys got nailed really early on last year. Did. So I mean, things are opening back up. Um, you know, like personally, I work from home. Um, for the most part, I do go down to the office, usually once or twice a week. Um, our schools have luckily in our district, at least been open all year, which is I'm mm. so thankful for because it was really hard for my son in first grade to, you know, like have that social isolation. I mean, for all of us, but yeah. at, that, at that age too, you know, you need to be around other kids. So our schools have been open, everybody's masked. Um, I think now that we're hitting levels of uh, vaccination, they're talking about unmasking, you know, in general at Walmart and Target. And yeah, um, I still, I personally wear my mask just because it makes me do. Feel good. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, I'm really thankful that, you know, things are starting to open back up again. Yeah, we uh, definitely, Texas is one of the first ones that said that masks weren't mandatory if you were outside and we can't say, tell store owners to do that. So, and I, now they're to the, getting to the point where if you're outside and you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask, like, you know, but it, I think everybody's just taking it on a case by case basis, how are they for feeling comfortable with it, I guess. I don't know. So you got a couple of cards. Are you going to make a layout too? Oh, I don't know. How are we on time? I might not. Um, you're but, fine. Oh, I have everything here so i thought i'd keep playing you can keep it's playing fun. it's all good i have a hard time but now i have a card for both my husband and my father-in-law or my father um yeah i think i need a third one <laughs> now for my father um but yeah i mean they were so easy to make and with the 3d stickers like we were talking about too it's i love the layering on these and the different embellishments because it looks as a crafter um you know, it looks like I spent a long time, like actually die cutting all these pieces and adding the glitter and putting it all together and layering it up. And really it was just as easy as peel it off the sticker liner and put it down. Um, yeah. So they're a huge time saver, but they also just look so pretty. So. Yeah. It's, it's like taking everything to the, that next level and with such amazing products that you already have at your fingertips, it's hard not for it to look good, which I think that's, you know, a, a very true kind of like compliment to how well your designs are, how wonderful your designs are, because there's no such thing as a bad card with any of these products. So, yeah. So I made mine A2 size cards, but somebody was just asking, I think that you were measuring, is uh, are those five by seven cards? These are five by seven. And um, I honestly, I've got like a shelf full of just the five by seven card bases that come with envelopes. And they're mm -hmm. like my go to because. I'm, and like I said before, I'm really bad at cutting things and cutting straight. Um, so I like to just grab a pre-folded card off my shelf and layer on top of that. Yeah, because you can really see the difference. And we both use one of the vertical tags. Yeah, let me go side by side. Yeah. So we both use one of the vertical tags and mine fits up on a vertical still, page right. or the vertical side. It eats up most of it, but hers, because it's yeah. horizontal, there's still plenty of room to group just due to the size of the card. So, and, and it's the same size tag. Too. So this, yeah. if I were to layer on the same size tag onto the five by seven card, that's what you're looking at. Very cool. There is one other person who made a thing and she goes, maybe it's a Texas thing, but they would want to have, this is going back to the questions. If you haven't a chance to answer the question, Shana, I'm going to have you, do you want to switch your camera around or yeah. do you want to do the layout? Oh, no, no, we can switch my camera. Let me, give me just oh, Okay. All right, so let's let her switch her camera around and I'm going to switch mine. So another comment to the question is, uh, maybe she's a Texas girl. I love that. But would you love to have a drill dance team stickers too? That's kind of cool. I love that. So there's lots of options there. So if you've not had a chance to answer the question, here is the question. What's the one thing missing from your stash that you wish you could have find? And this is the, I mean, sorry, I'm gonna get something out real fast. Um, that is your chance to win a $50 gift certificate to Paper House Production. So I think Shana is ready. So we're gonna bring her back on. Yay, she's back. And can you hear Woo. me? 
I can hear you just okay. fine. You're doing Perfect. great. Wow. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> So if you don't win from this, and we got a few more things that we're going to chat about because there's some fun things that are coming up. Um, but if you don't win, there is also a replay winner. It's a $50 gift certificate to the store, Paper House Productions, and they're going to be announcing the replay winner live next Thursday, which is the 27th at 930 Eastern on their show, Paper House at Home. And they are streaming that on their Facebook group, or so their Facebook page, their YouTube channel, and you guys also have a Facebook group. Do you wanna talk a little bit about what your Facebook group's yeah, all about? We have, um, we have a Facebook group called uh, Paper House Creates. And so there we share um, lots of inspiration. All of our creative team posts to that group. Uh, we post to that group. So we'll share lots of different ways to use all of our, our products. Um, and it's a really fun community. So please join us again. It's Paper House Creates on Facebook and it's our own little private group to just be crafty and share inspiration. Cool. So I love how all these companies have like their own little groups because then you really can go in and you can ask questions specifically to the company. You can post project ideas that you've made using their products. So I think groups are really a ton of fun. So you guys have uh, some other products here. So let me pull up some other things. So you guys, we, we were talking about, you, you really love your stickers. So just, oops, let me get rid of the banner real fast. So here is just a small smattering of some of the other stickers that they have at the Paper House Productions. Do you wanna talk a little bit about what we see here? Oh yeah, we have, oh my gosh, so many stickers. So here primarily you're seeing our dimensional stickers. And then we're also showing one of those little keepsake frames up in the corner with the happy birthday, where you can just take that placeholder photo off, put your own folder or your own photo on in place. And it makes just a really nice accent or um, focal point to your page. Um, but really we have so, I mean, hundreds of 3D sticker themes to choose from dimensional sticker themes. Games. Um, and like we talked about, we have uh, washi tape. So you see some washi tape peeking out on the right hand side. Those are some of our licensed designs with where the wild things are. Um, Karma Bee is a local artist to us. So we like to uh, collaborate with a lot of different artists too, both locally and nationally, sometimes internationally. Um, so Karma Bee is this wonderful artist um, right in the town next door to us in Kingston. And she's a screen printer that does all these really cool tribal designs um, and like hand-drawn almost like zen zen tangle designs oh yeah yeah, yeah. We brought her in on some of our washi tape we've worked with some other local artists who are painters who do really beautiful florals um and then most recently too uh we launched our this is us collection in which we collect i think i have a picture of that one don't i, I? think you do yeah i sent you for oh. the 3d stickers of this is us um, so in this line, we launched it last June and uh, we collaborated with a ton of different artists that all have different stories um, because we've realized that everybody has their own unique perspective, their own unique um, situation in life, their own things that they feel strongly about or ways that they want to be re represented or see themselves. So we want to focus on working with artists that could bring that authentic art and perspective and story to our products. Um, so we focus a lot on um, being inclusive and uh, just highlighting and celebrating diversity um, in all sorts of ways. So from skin color and ethnicities to different family styles to mental health and self-care um, mm -hmm. to really like hustling for justice and making positive changes and being like social, um, social action. So it's a really fun line. Um, definitely check it out because we've got a ton of products in the line. We've got um, 50 to 75 different products, everything from stickers to washi tape to planner kits. Um, so they're really cool. So please check out the This Is Us line. So you also have some really fun ones for summer. I love this. You got pool party and like a beach theme. Those are so fun. Looks like yeah. you're about ready to dive into the ocean or the or the water. I know. And then, well, it's, it's like 85 here today. I don't even know what it is down by you, Erin. But that pool party uh, looks awesome right I now. Think, yeah, I don't know what we are right now. I think we're probably close into that 80 range. We had a yeah. little cold spell earlier, but um, it's starting to warm up. It, it's kind of weird. We've had the weirdest weather down here lately. It's been nuts. But you guys, we were talking about how you guys have a whole bunch of products that are made for vacation or yes. for like themes for going Travel. to different. So 
here's one of the, your USAs and also your family vacation. I love that family vacation. I've used that quite a few different times on That's some different really, layouts. Well, and those are really um, general ones, but then we also have very specific destinations. So we've got everything from New York City and Washington, D.C. to uh, we've got a Texas sticker. We've got California. We've got Oh my gosh, in our card stocks, we even have like Wyoming and South Dakota and pretty much, um, <laughs> I think we have every, we're inclusive of every state, <laughs> just about. Um, well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, no, so, so really fun um, travel, travel products for sure. And then we also have, here's like back to school or the end of school, depending mm -hmm. on how you want to look at it. Maybe you want to scrapbook or make a card that's got some cool stickers on it for the end of the school year or like the last day of school or getting ready for your first day of school. So it just depends on how you want to, where in the school year you are. It always fits. I know I love doing the ones where my kids are holding the sign going like you're fifth grade or like they're holding the chalkboards or whatever. And Definitely. you really can see the difference on how young and old for the kids sure. are. Seriously, to compare, <laughs> it's crazy. It's nuts. In one year, one school year, how much they've changed. It's crazy. So I don't think I did a very good job of doing that this year. It's just been, <laughs> this know. school year has been nuts. It has. What can and you, you do? said your kids are almost done like next week, right? Yeah. So this is their last regular week of school. Um, elementary next week is again, kind of like a regular week, but they have like, so my kids are all virtual. And so they're doing their Zoom parties and my fifth grader, he's got like a little car parade kind of thing. Cause they usually do like this big end of your party, but they can't, my high schooler has got finals next week. So he's in steady mode and getting ready and getting all these last minute projects. We we're talking about how he was working on one of his projects. He had to do filming. So he was borrowing my film setup cause he had to make a video commercial. <laughs> so mom's technology to rescue. Absolutely. <laughs> so so I, you go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just over here reading the comments again because I always oh. get sucked into the comments. But um, oh, I yeah, see yeah. That, uh, Marie asked, "Is there a place to see what we have, like a database?" And I think that is a fantastic question um, because I know you were going to shout out to our website. Um, yeah, we have, let's get that up and running. Let me get I that up think, and going. Like. 2000 products on our website, probably at least. And I know Amy's watching, Amy's with us at Paper House, so she could probably give you an exact number, but we have so many products on our website. And on here, you'll find everything from our scrapbooking lines to our planner lines. But Erin is, she's circling great deals week up there because this <laughs> is a really, really amazing part. And that's why I'm so excited that we're on your show this week too, because I know your audience is gonna go and check out that tab. Um, we have a fantastic sale running all week. Um, if you click into the Great Deals tab, you can see we have everything, greeting cards, bookmarks, stickers, and there's, I think there's like 16 pages of Great Deals, which is crazy. Um, a really easy way to navigate it is that side navigation on the left-hand side. If you were to click on Stickers Dimensional, Erin, because since that's what- uh, There it is. Yeah, yeah, stickers I'm Dimensional, right? right there. There it um, is. There we go. <laughs> That's going to filter everything. And here you can see a ton of the 3D stickers. Um, and I, I know 3Ds kind of start on page two, but we have chalkboard stickers. We have cork stickers. There's puffy stickers in there. I love uh, these ones. These are oh, the canvas, canvas stickers. Yep. Those are so fun. Uh, and there you see some of the 3D stickers there. Um, right now. Okay. Yeah. So just, just, just take a look at this. A dollar. <laughs> I know. Well, it's adorable, but it's a dollar. I know. So our great deal sale goes through um, end of day tomorrow night, I think. Right, Amy? Oh, thank you. Deborah's saying our website is so fabulous. Thank you, Deborah. Aww, thank um, you. So yeah, the 3D stickers are a dollar each right now. So these stickers that we just used today, the mom sticker, the dad sticker, the graduation stickers, they're a dollar. Um, so you definitely should pop on and uh, check them out. And even sure. those, oh, Amy's saying yes, until midnight tomorrow night, the sale goes. Got it. So definitely hop in there and check them out. Um, but the the best part is you can use that code that we shared with you, um, Aaron. I'm you're pull that up. I'm extra trying to pull it up here. Off. There you go. That's it. <laughs> I'm trying to trouble, trouble here. Here we go. Um, so we're. 
<laughs> we're really, we're like making room in our warehouse um, because we just, we have, we've made so much stuff. I've designed so much stuff. They can't stop me. I make too much stuff, right? <laughs> um, so now it's time that we need to share all this stuff with you guys so that I can make more new stuff. <laughs> um, so definitely get on there and check it out. And Amy says um, that the sale might be good for a little longer if she doesn't feel like changing the prices at midnight. <laughs> I see her comments. So. <laughs> um, but definitely try to get there before midnight tomorrow to make sure that you get in on the great deals. Like I'm just scrolling through and seeing all the amazing stickers. I mean, there's just so many. I mean, you guys can see, like we went through, this one is Boardwalk. We've got Daughter. You've got, uh, what's this, Photo Booth. This one, this, I love this collection you guys did, the Crafty Like yeah, a Fox. So this is such a cute collection. I just think that it's so super adorable. And I so, think I mean, those it's, boxes are fuzzy too. I want to say those guys have flocking on them. It's hard to remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think they're fuzzy. So, so many amazing products over on their site. And we just were looking at the sales, but you guys have your whole um, life organized. You Me have too. your play, which is all the projects and plans, sorry, all the planners. Planners, yeah. You guys have your playhouse, which is all the kids stickers. And yeah. let me tell you, there's some really, really cute kids stickers. They have these ones looks like little takeout boxes. I do you have any of those? I Mine do. are buried in my drawer here. down here. I think I have one too. Oh my gosh, it was right here until I cleaned up. Oh, here hmm. we go. I got one? one. I have one. Isn't it cute? And there's four so adorable. feet so of stickers inside. I can't even believe that four feet of stickers fit in there. There is so much. Yeah, so you open it up. Or if I can open it without tear, here we go, here we go. And yeah, we, we, we were playing around with this, but like there is so many stickers in here. Look at that. <laughs> it's like sticker mania. I love it. It is, it's like at Paper House, it's sticker mania every day. So you guys, I mean, it's, you guys have the puzzles, then you also have your, so take me through the, all the different categories. So we just talked about Playhouse. We talked yeah. about Life Organized, but what were the other ones? Uh, Playhouse, Life Organized, puzzles are really big for us right now. Um, our standard paper crafting and um, scrapbooking lines. So our open stock papers, we've got the 12 inch papers, we've got 3D stickers, other dimensional stickers, flat stickers, 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 stickers. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness, what else now? I know stickers. I'm <laughs> Look at all the stickers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we even we have mini puzzles for kids, which are really cute. We've got diaries um in the kids' line, like lock and key diaries, which are really I noticed I you guys had some sets for those too. We like do, there was yeah. like with a pen and like there yeah. were sets. They're yeah, really we just cool. brought out these really cool um they're like all about me. Um and we've got a spy one too, but like these journal sets for kids. Um kind of crosses between making kids or helping kids um, want to journal and practice writing and do all that with giving them really cool guided activities to do. So we've got one that's, that's like cool. all about me and it's like a mood journal, um, great for teenagers or like tweens who might need mm -hmm. some help, you know, journaling their, their out, emotions. Kind of De-stressing their emotions. You know, and then yeah, the other vending. one is the spy book, which is so cool. It's got all these activities. It's got um, like a little flashlight with UV light and things change color, um, really, really fun. So so what would that, what category is that under? Is that under the that would like be, organized? Uh, no, that would be under the Playhouse brand. Under I the think Playhouse. if you were to just search spy on the website, I bet you could find it. I'm trying to find it, see if I can find it. I don't know, you guys can go on the website. I don't wanna switch back and forth between the cameras too many times. I'm gonna be going around. Oh, somebody said, hey, by the chance, do you have stickers? <laughs> I don't know, funny. maybe just a couple. <laughs> maybe just a few. I don't know. I think stickers. one time we, oh, Amy, we did the math at one point years ago and we figured that we had enough stickers. If you took and like lined them end to end, you could like go around the world so many times, I think. Or you could like <laughs> cover the Empire State Building in stickers. Oh, so here's a question um, Will the self care washi tape come back in stock? Mm. Amy would be great to answer that. <laughs> um, I am not certain, but I'm sure we could figure something out. And then here was another question before we announce our winner is, is there anything for retirement? Oh, retirement. Let's see. I honestly don't think we have specific retirement themes, but we do have fishing. 
I know a lot of <laughs> fishing is a great activity for retirement or even not retirement because my husband is like out fishing all the time. Um, let's see what else. That could be a good line. You know, people yeah, want to yeah, do their last day of work, you know, officially yeah. retired. Like you make a big deal out of that. Yeah. that you've worked so hard and then you're finally done on to the next phase of your life. So I yeah. think that's kind of oh, cool. That's a great that's suggestion. Cool. Thank you. That might be a cool suggestion there. Very, very fun. All right. So if you had not had a chance to leave a comment, uh, we're going to be picking the winner here very shortly. But here is the question. There's still a chance to win on the replay. So what is the one thing that's missing from your stash that you wish you could have? There's been lots of amazing uh, suggestions of things that they wish they could have in their stash. So leave a comment for that. Also, if you, for whatever reason, don't win this particular live video, they'll be announcing who the winner is on the replay on their paper house at home live on the Thursday, the 27th. So next week, you have a few days. Leave a comment on YouTube, Facebook, and also paper house because she's going to pick one of the three to decide where the winner is coming from. So if you leave a comment on one of each of those three places, then you have a higher chance of winning. All the links to where you can find the, both the Facebooks and the YouTubes are all down below. So make sure you go and leave a comment about, let me put the question up again. What's the one thing missing from your stash? <laughs> so are we ready for our winner? I think are so. Ready? Are you ready? Okay, so drum roll. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Our winner is Artful Creations by Tracy. Congratulations, awesome. congratulations. Thank you so much. You had a lot of really cool suggestions um, and you were commenting a ton. So I really truly appreciate that. So thank you so much for leaving. If you will please email info at paperhouseproductions.com with probably your basic information. And I think they also need your phone number. Well, maybe not just your email because this yeah, is a gift no, card. Exactly. Yeah. Your basic yeah. information and uh, we'll connect with you and get you all hooked up with a $50 paper house store credit. So that is that a is ton great. of shopping. So just think of all the dollar stickers. You can get actually more than just 50 oh of them because the 20% <laughs> off coupon will tie. So they're 80 cents. Yeah, guys. I think 80 like, cents with we're going to you're going to have to make room in your home or in your shop <laughs> for more stickers. So, oh, Tracy says, but, thank you. You are welcome, Tracy. Oh, yay. Thank you, Tracy. Lots of fun stuff. I already have a cart full. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you guys tell me like, I'm putting my purchase in now. I'm ordering now. I mean, that's, that's just so much fun. I just love being able to share all the amazing companies that I love to work with. And Paper House has been one of the probably longest running companies I have worked with and continue to still to, to love to create with. And you guys have been saw me pulling like project at a project after like I was of so many things I've created with them. So, and cause their products are just amazing. I cannot stress enough how quality their products are. Their papers are a good thick quality. Their stickers are phenomenal. Everything is top, top notch. So, oh, well, and if you're you. just curious about a new line that's coming out, just give it a little bit of time and it probably will come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll design as fast as my hands can go. I promise. <laughs> Which hats off to you because the amount of, creativity you have for creating all these wonderful products, not only the stickers, but just like everything across the board. Yeah. It's just you, it blows my mind how creative you are. So thank you. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your gift. With I us. do have an awesome art, another artist that I work with at Paper House and we've got some outside designers. So, well, I would love to take credit for all of it. It's definitely not just me. Um, we've got a great team here. Well, and behind we me, you said do. most of it was you. So I can't well, you know, out of the designs that you have back there, yes. But I mean, I look at look at our website. Look at the, the number yeah, of products. A lot so of I products. definitely I can't take credit for it all. But our artists are amazing. Um, you know, all of us. <laughs> and thank you. It means so much that you you know the shout out to our product quality and that we've worked together for so long because we love working with you too, and we really appreciate. Um, you know, we know that you work with a lot of companies. So for you to um, you know, say how great our products are means a lot because you definitely Aww. have the experience with lots of things so i definitely happy to promote any company i think is amazing and yours is on the top of the list for me Aww, so. thank you erin and Thanks. thanks for having me today it was so much fun and i think fun. you know i probably would have kept going all afternoon so it's it's good you it's hard to quit that camera away <laughs> It's so hard to quit. Is there any other special events or any other news, anything else you want to mention before we wrap up if we have not touched on it yet? 
Is there anything that I think we tried to touch on everything? But I think so I would just say, you know, make sure up? you follow us on um, on Facebook for you know, join our group, Paper House Creates. Um, follow our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Keep in touch with us because, um, like like Amy mentioned in the comments, and like I've said, um, we're having these great sales because we're clearing out inventory so we can bring in lots of new stuff, and we want to make sure that you guys know about all the new stuff we're bringing in. So definitely follow us because we'll be doing sneak peeks we'll be doing um you know special sale posts all kinds of fun stuff so connect with us follow us and uh we would love to connect with you and you guys do some special bundles on hsn as well correct we do, yes um we've got a great relationship with hsn so we've got some special um bundles that are exclusive just for them we've got some new ones coming out later in the summer Shh. Um, but we also, um, we've got a mom, dad, grad bundle on there right now that we were pulling a lot of this product from too. So check us out. If you just go to hsn.com and search paper house, um, you can find our bundles on there. Um, a lot of times there's special pricing, tremendous value in the kits that we give to them, um, that we work with them on. So, um, yeah, it's really fun working with HSN and I'm actually going to be on HSN, um, their Facebook live on Tuesday night, this up upcoming Tuesday, talking about our let freedom ring collection, which is great oh, for nice. Memorial day, upcoming 4th of July. It's just like really nice Americana kind of things. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, join us there too. I would love to see you guys. Yeah. So that's on the HSN Facebook page? It is. And it'll also be cool. simulcast to our Facebook page too. So you can find it on either one. Very, very cool. And again, all the links are down below where you can find everybody from Paper House, all their Instagram, their Facebook, their uh, YouTube channel, and also their store. So, and don't forget, use the coupon code. If you're buying anything, 20% off, Aaron makes 20 go use it. <laughs> the link I did give you is my share a sale is my affiliate link. So if you do do that, it just gives me it's no extra cost to you, but just wanted to be straightforward that I get a percentage of whatever is purchased. So it's just kind of like a little thank you that you can do by using my link. So no extra cost to you guys whatsoever. So if you use the link, I truly appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to say thank you and everybody else who has gone through and left so many amazing comments. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. It's just been like the streaming of comments. And I think that makes these lives even more fun because you guys are interacting with us. And thank you again for being on this show, Shana. It's been so Thanks, fun. Aaron. I know it's definitely fun. We'll have to do it again. Yes, we All definitely right. will. Thanks All for right. having me. Bye, everybody.